Hello everybody! Today we are going to learn about the slope intercept form equation of a line. So we are going to start practicing from today with line and learn that this line it has an equation. But first of all, remember that to draw for it a line, we need exactly two points. If there is only one point, So, if there is given one point only, let's say this is the point, through a point can pass infinitely many lines. So, only one point, it is not enough to draw a line. If we have more than two points, let's say three points, when we will connect these three points, not always we get a line. This is not a line, yes? So, to draw exactly a line, we need exactly two points. No more, no less. Remember that any point has coordinates x, y. So, me, I have two points. Let's say this is point 1, coordinates x1, y1. And point 2, coordinates x2, y2. On a line infinitely many points but the most important points they are called the x-intercept and the y-intercept of that line let's see what does that mean if this is the coordinate plane horizontal x-axis vertical y-axis somewhere in the first second third fourth quadrant it doesn't matter on this coordinate plane i will choose two points this is point one and this is point 2. If I know the coordinates of these two points, I plot them on the coordinate plane. And after I will connect them and I will get the line. But on this line, we said infinitely many points. And the most important ones are this point and this one. This point A, it's the point where the line intersects the x-axis. And this is called the x-intercept of the line. As long as the point is located exactly on the x-axis, the symbol to write it, it is x0. So the y-coordinate, it is always 0. The other point, this one, which I'll name it b, it is called the y-intercept of the line, it's located exactly on the y-axis. It's the point where the line in red intersects the y-axis and it has the symbol 0y. So, on a line, infinitely many points, but these two points are the most important ones. The x-intercept, it's the point where line intersects the x-axis and the y-intercept, it's the point where the line intersects the y-axis. Before I will start, I want to show you more. Let's say this is the coordinate plane. X-axis and vertical Y-axis. On this plane, I have drawn two lines. Let's say this is line 1. And here I have the line 2. Line 1, it is closer to Y-axis than the line 2, which is called in math, line 1 is steeper than the line 2. The steepness of a line, it is called slope. So, to calculate mathematically the steepness of the line, we are going to look for slope. This line has a slope, let's say line M1, and this, is, this line has a slope M2. The symbol to write slope, it's a small letter M. If we know this, we can start our lesson. The slope intercept form, it is Y equals MX plus B, in which the M coefficient of X, it is called slope. And we said that the slope tells us the step gives us the stiffness of that line. And the B, 
represents the y-intercept of that line. And we said that the y-intercept, it's the point where the line intersects the y-axis and it has coordinate 0b. As long the point it's located on y-axis exactly, the x-coordinate is 0. Let's see, let's talk more about the slope. Slope represents the ratio between rise, ratio rise and run between the two points. So if I have here point A and this is the point B, on the coordinate plane we cannot go direct, we cannot move direct from A to B or from B to A. Coordinate plane has two axes, the horizontal x-axis and vertical y-axis. So to move from a point to another point, we can move horizontal or vertical, but never in diagonal. So this slope, it will be the ratio between the rise from point to point the rise. So if I want to move from A to B, I will rise up and the run into it. Or we can move from point B to point A, then rise, it will be down, and the run, it will be down left. So if I put these things together, we can write, we can understand that the rise, it's a change between the y values. We can rise up, and then the rise, it will be positive, or we can rise down, and in, the case, in this case, the rise, it will be negative. So the rise represents a change in the y values. As long as it's up and down, this is a change in y values, vertical. If it is about the run, and one of the points is here, from this point to another point, I can run right, which is positive, or I can run left, and in this case, the run, it will be negative. And run right, left, this is a change in x values. So we can say that slope is ratio rise to run, where rise represents a change in y values, and the run, it's a change in x values. As long as the y values, they are on y axis, so we can say vertical change and the horizontal change. Between two points, because we said we need two points, each point has x and y coordinates. So I can write point 1, x1, y1 coordinates, point 2, x2, y2 coordinates. From these two points, I can say the slope is equals. The rise, it's the change in y values. So these are the two y values. We can write y2 minus y1. And the run, it's the change in the x values, x2 minus x1. If we move from p1 to p2, but we can also move from p2 to p1. And then instead of y2 minus y1, we can write y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. It doesn't matter which one of these ratios, both of them, they are equivalent. So it doesn't matter if I move from p1 to p2 or p2 to p1, the slope, it will be the same. Now let's have a look here. When we draw lines on the coordinate plane, as you can see in the figure, we can draw a line in diagonal like this, or we can draw a diagonal like this one. Yes? If the diagonal it goes more and more into the right direction, then it is called that slope is positive. Yes? The slope is positive. If the, if the line it goes more and more into the left direction, which means negative infinity, this line will have a negative slope. If the line is horizontal, we said for a line we need two points. So if this is the horizontal, point, point. To move from point to another point, here is no rise between them. So the ratio rise to run will become zero to whatever any run. That's why slope, it will be equals to zero. If the line is vertical, 
Here between point to point, from point to another point, there is no run. So the rate, the slope, it will be ratio rise to run. Run is zero, which it cannot be determined. It is called in math undefined. Denominator, it cannot be zero. We cannot divide by zero. So from here, we can understand that a line, a slope, slope, it can be positive. It can be negative, zero if the line is horizontal, and undefined if the line is vertical. In the same time, we said that no matter which one of these lines, to draw correct a line, we need two points. I want to show you a little bit more. We also said that the equation of the line in slope intercept form it is y equals mx plus b. And I will take these cases separate and let's see what is going to be the equation for each one of them. So, I will take the first two. Let's say this is the coordinate plane. And we said that the most important points on the line, they are the x and y intercepts. Let's say this is my line. So this is the x intercept. And here we have the y intercept. Let's take it like this. Now I have the x intercept here. And the y intercept is into here. The first line, it goes into right more and more. So it goes into positive infinity, which means the slope, it is positive. Positive, we write it greater than zero. For the second line, the line, it, it goes more and more into the left direction, negative infinity. So here, the slope, it will be less than zero. Both of the lines, they have the x-intercept and the y-intercept. For these two lines, the equation, it will be y equals mx plus b. Because here I have the y-intercept. See, in both of them here I have the y-intercept and I have a change. I have a, uh, I can say the slope is different than zero. But not always the line, it goes in diagonal. Let's see what will happen here. The coordinate plane. And the line is horizontal. This is my line in red color. Horizontal above x-axis or it can be horizontal below the x-axis. In these cases, the line will intersect only the y-axis. So this line does not have an x-intercept. More than we said that the slope of this line, it is equals to zero because from point to point, there is no rise. So then the equation of this line, it will be y equals this point of intersection. I will name it C from constant. So here you have to take care. These are like special cases. Again, if the line is horizontal, the equation of the line, it will be y equals c, constant number, which represents the point of intersection with the y-axis. On a line, infinitely many points. For all of these points, the x-coordinate, it will be different. But all of them, they will have the same y-coordinate. The last case, the vertical line. I will sketch again the coordinate plane here, and I will draw a vertical line. This vertical line intersects only the x-axis. Between two points, here is no run. You do not go left and right. There is no move left and right on the x-axis. So then we have only a change in the y values. Again, this vertical, it can be right of y-axis, or it can be in the left side of the y-axis. It doesn't matter. Important is that intersects only the x-axis in a point, let's say C, where C represents a constant number. The equation of the line, it will be x equals C. The line does not have a y-intercept, so we cannot use the y in the equation. And the slope, it is undefined. So the equation of the line, it is x equals to c. What does it mean? On this line, we have infinitely many points. 
All of these points, they have different y, y coordinates, but all of them, they have the same x coordinate. So we write x equals, this is the constant number. Find the slope of the line that passes through each pair of points. We said that slope is ratio, rise to run. From a point, to another point. The graph is given, which means the two points, they are given. In general, when they give us graph, to get the slope, we just count the units, rise, run between the points. So I'm going to find it in both of the ways. I will write it here first. Slope equals ratio. From this point to this one, the rise is this. And let's say, the one coordinate here one, and here the y coordinate is 5. So from 1 to 5 will rise 4 units. It is up, so it will be positive 4. The run, it will be from here into here. So this coordinate 0 and the x coordinate here 2. So from 0 to 2, we have 2 units. And this is positive. Remember that if it is up, it's positive. Down, it's negative. Right, positive, And left is negative. So we can simplify by 2 to get the unit ratio. It will be 2 to 1. So this is the slope. We can choose any two points on the line. Not only this point and this one. Any other two points will get the same slope. So you don't have to be afraid of this. Now let's take the other, uh, other graph, the second graph. But in this case, to find the slope, I'm going to use the slope formula. So the two points, they are given. And we write slope equals ratio, change in y. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this equals the two points 0, 0 and 3, 1. So this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And first of all, I look for the change in y. y2 is 1 minus 0. And the x2 is 3 minus the x1 is 0. Simplify it, it will be 1 to 3. It's positive. But in general, when the graph is given, to find the slope of a line, you can just simply use the rise run between the points. Just take care when you count the units. Find the slope of the line passing through the two points. You do not have to graph it. Just write negative 2, 3 and 3, 2. Negative 2. So the point 1, x1, y1 coordinates, x2, y2 coordinates. We said slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All we have to do now is to substitute. y2 is negative 2 minus y1 is 3. x2, 3 minus x1 is negative 2 equals negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Here negative, negative, it's positive over 5. We can simplify by 5. It will be negative 1 over 1. We have given the two points. Keep it in your mind. To work with the line, we need two points on that line. So the first one, x1, y1 point, and x2, y2, the second point, yes? And the slope equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. At the beginning, we said this is equivalent with y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So it doesn't matter. You, you can say this is the first point, this is the second, or you can say this is the first and this is the second. We'll get the same thing exactly. I will take it in this way. So y1 minus y2, it will be negative 5 minus 5. Over x1 here, I will take this one, negative 8 minus minus 4 equals negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 over 
negative, negative, positive. So negative 8 plus 4, it's a negative 4. Simplify by negative, simplify by 2, equals 5 over 2. This is the slope. Find the value of r. So r is the variable. One variable, remember you need one equation that you have to solve it in order to find the variable. And they tell us, find the value of r. So the line that passes through each pair of points, the two points they are given, has a given slope, so the slope I know it. So to find the variable, we need an equation. The equation that we will use will represent the relationship between the given information. Given two points and the slope, the relationship, it will be the slope formula. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. From left into the right, we'll take the letters one by one and substitute with the given values slope. It is given to, so I put two equals fraction line. Y2 is 9 minus Y1 is 3 over X2 is 5 minus X1 is R. We'll get it into the simplest form, first of all. So it will be 2 equals 9 minus 3 is 6 over, we cannot simplify, so we keep it 5 minus R. Fraction with one side, the other side will make it fraction, and in this way we found proportion. To solve a proportion, use the cross product. So it will be 2 times 5 minus R equals 1 times 6. Remove the bracket. We can do it easier than this. 2 is common factor. We can simplify by 2. And it will be 5 minus R equals 6 over 2 is 3. Solve for R. So minus 5. Minus 5. It will be negative R. Take care. Equals 3 minus 5. It's a negative 2. Over negative over negative r equals to 2. So, two points given and slope given. The relationship between the points and slope, it is called the slope formula. This is what I'm going to write first. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. From left the right, I will take the letters one by one and substitute with the given values. Slope is given 1 over 2 equals fraction line. y2 is 3 minus y1 is 2 over x2 6 minus x1 is r. Get the proportion in the simplest form. It will be 1 over 2 equals 3 minus 2, 1 over 6 minus R. To solve proportion, use the cross product. So 1 times 6 minus R equals to 1 times 2. Yes? So 6 minus R equals to 2 minus 6 on both of the sides. It will be negative R equals negative 4. Simplify by negative, the R equals to 4. In this case, again, they give us two points and they give me the slope of zero. You can answer this question in the same way we did it in the previous ones. But now we see here slope zero. We get slope, we know that slope is the ratio rise over rise. Where rise, it's a change in y values. And the run, it's the change in x values. And slope equals to zero. If the rise, it is zero. So there it will be only change in x values. And if the slope, it is zero, and there it's a change in x values only, it means that this line, it's a horizontal line. If you remember, I showed it to you at the beginning, the cases. 
So this is my line. It's a horizontal line. The horizontal line, it has a slope of zero, only it. In this case, we set the equation, it will be y equals the point of intersection here. So then I'm not got x different values for x. All of the points on the line, they have the same y value. So without doing any calculus, you can write away that the r it will be 6. Again, the horizontal line intersects the y-axis only. All of these points, they have different x-coordinates. x is different, but the y, it's the same. So as long here y is 6, the r is 6. In the next question, we see here slope, it is undefined. And we know slope is rise to run, and we get it undefined where there the run, it will be zero. There is a rise between the points, but there is no run. This kind of line from the graph, if you remember, this is the coordinate plane. This line will intersect only the x-axis. So we have the rise. We have a, whole, a vertical change, but there is no horizontal change. So this is my line. Any line that has a slope undefined, the line is vertical. And this line will intersect only the x-axis in a point here, see. So all the points on this line, they have different y-coordinate. But the x-coordinate for all of them, it will be the same. So without doing any calculus, the y is different. So I don't care the y is different. Important for me to understand is that the x-coordinate will be the same, so right away, r equals to 1. If you understand this, you will save time in answering questions. These are two special cases, yes? When, sl when line is horizontal, slope is 0, and line is vertical, the slope is undefined. And all the points, they have the same x, and here, the same y. Right equation of the line in slope intercept form. So we know that y equals mx plus b. To write this equation, we need to know the slope and the y intercept of that line. And slope is given 5, so here we'll substitute with 5. The y intercept of negative 3, and here we will put negative 3. So it will be y equals 5x. Positive negative, it means minus 3. Write the slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. To write this form, we need to know the slope. We need to know the y intercept. And this given slope negative 2. So I will substitute for m with negative 2. y intercept 7. So instead of b, we put 7. It will be y equals negative 2x plus 7. Graph the equation. This is the slope-intercept form, y equals negative 2x minus 1, yes? Where the slope, we said, it's the coefficient of x, so I put slope equals negative 2. We know that slope is ratio, rise to run, so I need to write for slope of fraction. I will make it over 1, in which negative 2 is the rise, between the points, and 1 will be the run. And negative 1 represents the y-intercept. Coordinate plane, it is used to plot on its numbers. Yes? So which one of those am I going to plot first on the coordinate plane? The number. Y-intercept, this is the number, the point. This is a point. So, sorry, the coordinate plane, it's used to plot on it points. So, first of all, I will plot the point, and from here, I'm going to use the slope. Let's see how. This is the coordinate plane. B equals negative 1. This is the y-intercept. So, the point is located on y-axis. Negative 1. So let's say this is negative 1, so this is the y-intercept. From this point, I'm going to use the slope. Rise 
negative 2. If the rise is negative, then from the point will go down 2 units. So from this point, I go down 2 units. And from there, I run 1 positive. If the run is positive, I run right. So from here, run 1 unit. And this is the end of the rise and run. run. So then I will come at the point and this is my line. 6 plus y equals to negative 3. That we can easy graph, we look for the equation of the line in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. In this form written, the equation it is solved for y. In our case, we do not have y equals, so first of all, we solve the equation for y, and we will do. So they give us x plus y equals to negative 3. We need to solve for y. So minus x minus x. It will be y equals negative x minus 3. In this way, I have the equation in slope intercept form. The slope we said, it's the coefficient of term x. And here is negative 1. We make it ratio over 1. This is the rise. And this one is the run. And negative 3, it's the y-intercept. The y-intercept, it is point. So to graph, I have to graph the point first. We draw the coordinate plane. And first of all, we plot on it the point, negative 3. It will be on y-axis, negative 3 here. So this is the negative 3. From this point, we use the slope, where the rise, it is negative. So from, that, from this point, I rise down one unit, because it's negative. So from here, I go down one unit. The run is positive, so from there, I continue, and I run right one unit. This is the second point. Connect, this is my line. y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 2. The slope is the coefficient of x, negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 is the rise, and 2 is the run. And these two, it's the y-intercept. So then we'll graph. First of all, we plot the point. It's y positive value, so it will be above origin. This is the 2. This is one point. To get the other point, we are going to use the slope. So rise, negative 1. It's one unit down. So I go like this one unit, and then I run two units. So from here, 1, 2. At the end of the slope here, it will be the second point. And this is the line. Thank you.